I'm Amber Courtney, and this is episode one of Cool Ass People, where we discover, talk to, and learn about, well, cool ass people. This episode, we're taking a look at James Sass, owner of the Abraxas Bookstore, located in Daytona Beach, Florida. The store holds some of the rarest, coolest vintage books out there. Bookstore. Tell me about what it's all about and kind of the history behind it. Um, yeah, it's about books and. Uh, James says that his bookstore exists for one reason: to be outside of the ordinary. And I, I try to shift emphasis. I do carry popular books and mainstream books, bestsellers and stuff like that. But that's like on the very minor end of why I'm doing this and what I have in the store. Like when you walk through the store, you'll notice I have fairly heavy science sections, philosophy sections, almost this whole wall is history, like scholarly academic history. So as you go through the store, even my literature section, uh, it's classics and stuff of literary merit. You know, I got the other area where that's like Stephen King and John Grisham and stuff like that, which is fine, but uh, you can get these anywhere. I like to have stuff you can't just walk in anywhere and get it. Which is uh, more possible because I care a little bit less about money than normal people. So if I have a choice of a, a very dense scholarly material on obscure subjects, if I have to choose between that and having a, a stack of bestsellers, I'm going to choose the other things. Just because that's the stuff that slips through the cracks. And it shouldn't because it's more important. <laughs> With books on topics ranging from history, art, religion, and even witchcraft. If there's anything you want to learn about, Jim most definitely has a book for you. Jim's love of books stems from his teenage years. His first taste of having a bookstore came from working in one when he was only 16. I started working in a place very much like this when I was about 16 years old. It was actually on this block, the same exact block, and that was probably 81 or 82. I dropped out of school. I, I never finished 10th grade. I uh, started working in a bookstore because all my money that I made, I would go spend all the money in the bookstore because I've always been a voracious reader and I went in there so much and they liked what I was buying so they ended up hiring me. I didn't even apply for the job. So then I started working in there and then I just got completely absorbed with the books and that's all I wanted to do. I never minded coming to work because I work in a bookstore. And that's part of like my logic also about creating this is because I knew starting my own business, your career, it's your own profession, but there are things that make a lot of money. And then there are things where I don't hate my life every day. Money comes and goes, time just goes. And if you spend all of your time doing something you hate for the wrong reasons, is that really how we want to live our lives? Originally, James wanted to open a bookstore in New Orleans. But then the stars seemingly aligned for him to have his bookstore in Daytona Beach in 2000. He's been here ever since. The, the uh, people, the, the man I was working for in the bookstore I just mentioned, he wasn't sure he was going to close. And, uh, but I always missed Beach Street because I always had a, a thing with Beach Street from the first time I set foot down here. He was going to close, and so uh, I said, okay, before I make this big commitment to leave the state and set up, you know, uh, I said, let me just drive down Beach Street because I didn't think I was going to find a, a space. And the space was had a for rent sign. And I went next door to ask about the for rent sign. And these are the, I knew these people who own the, own the restaurant. I've known them since 1981. I've been eating there since 1981. And so I walked in and said, hey, what's the deal with the place next door? And the guy that, that was running the place, he, he said, uh, Jimmy, you should open up a bookstore there. I said, yeah, I want to open a bookstore. I, 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 I said, how much, how much do you want? She goes, well, how much do you want to pay? <laughs> and then I said, well, how, how, how long is the lease? She said, well, how long do you want the lease to be? And so it was like everything lined up in 2000. So it, it was like everything was a green light. And so that's how I opened this, and I didn't move to New Orleans. Here was definitely meant to be, and I didn't think. I thought I was going to bail, and I didn't bail. So it wind up, it, it kind of contributes to my weird commitment, you know, to being here. <laughs> <laughs> he has a deep-rooted passion for his bookstore and everything in it. In love with what he does and not being one to take breaks, Jim opens his store six days a week. 
Originally, when he first opened, it was every day. I enjoy being here. Like when you just come in, there's the room, you know, just the, just the atmosphere and, the, and all, all my boys. I always have, uh, uh, up by where I work, I always have a stack of things that I'm working on or reading or whatnot, and people come and go. And for the most part, uh, I, you get people in here literally from every walk of life, like every walk of life. And you don't assume anything about anyone in terms of intelligence, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of who they are or where they've been or what they've done. <laughs> like, I don't take vacations. And, you know, honestly, part of it, I don't really want to, man. I like what I do. And also, when I open the door, I've never once come to work and said, oh, man, I got to be here again. Never felt that way one time. If you're looking for unique books or just looking to have a conversation with the cool ass guy wearing skull rings, visit Abraxas Books in Daytona Beach. Bye, Jim. Take care. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, take care. This has been Amber Courtney on Cool Ass People. And as always, keep it pimping.